Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to episode uh, 117 of the Spear and Sunnies podcast. Uh, this is going to be a short one because, uh, I don't know, have a listen to this. Can you hear the sea? Can you hear that shit? I'm in the middle of the fucking Pacific Ocean on a cruise ship and... Uh, that's when I, that's, that's in the middle of my holiday. I'm like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, in the middle of the holiday at like 8 PM on a Saturday night, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to record the podcast because I tried to get a backlog. I tried so hard guys and I almost got there, but this was the only thing that I didn't manage to pre-film. I had a, po- I got a podcast done. I got a little review done and then I worked out, fuck, I need to do another podcast because I'm going to be away on the Sunday and I won't have time to record one. So, I'm doing it in the middle of my fucking cruise. No, actually, I take that back. I was going to record this one, <laughs> but I was at the warehouse and my the day before I was supposed to leave, get on the plane to fly to Sydney so we could get on this fucking boat. The day before, I'm in the warehouse at... At 2.30 in the morning, editing a Lou review that was supposed to come out, that did come out, that you've just seen. And then it's 2.30 a.m. My girl was going to stay at my house so that we could go to the airport together in the morning. She left my house and came to the warehouse. was like, Lewis, you need to stop. (laughs) I'm like, oh, but... But I haven't done a podcast. I need a British. You need to stop, Lewis. Have you packed your bags? No. Why not? Uh, because, because I'm retarded and I need to do this. I need to get a backlog going. Because I can't let down the, the thousands of people who don't pay for this podcast. I can't let them down. You know, I owe so much to these cunts that don't pay for this thing that I'm working at 2:30 a.m. The morning before I'm supposed to wake up at 5am so I can catch a 7am flight. Got to do the podcast. But don't worry, guys. I know. I know you guys are, you know, paying nothing for this podcast. But you are investing your time for, for me to give you shit for free. So if, if this podcast was late, you'd all yell at me. I mean, hopefully this is coming out on Sunday. This is going to be a short one. Uh, because I don't, I have no idea how long it's going to take me to upload. I paid like a hundred dollars for fucking unlimited uh, internet for the whole cruise, uh, so I can upload. I uploaded a Lou review from the boat, and that took like an entire day and night. So I don't know how this podcast is going to get up. I'm going to keep it short so that the file size is smaller. Uh, but uh, hopefully, I'm going to get it up for you. It, by tomorrow, I don't know, it's Saturday night, I'm gonna, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna fucking try, attempt to upload it, so hopefully it works, um, sorry if you can hear the sounds of a cruise ship, but as I said before, I'm on a fucking cruise ship recording this for you on my holiday, so, you know, if, if you, oh, there's background noise, suck my dick, I'm in the middle of the fucking ocean, recording this shit, alright, now, with that out of the way, I need to tell you about something. I have discovered on this cruise ship fucking cornbread, man. Have you had have you had this shit? I've never had it in my life. At the All You Can Eat buffet, they've got this shit called cornbread. That just looks like a cake, and it's the best. It's the best thing I've ever had in my life. I can't stop eating it. I've just all I've been eating on this cruise is fucking cornbread. I've never had it in my life. I think we're gonna keep. I'm, I, I, I don't know if the neighbors are gonna knock on the walls because I'm yelling about cornbread so much, but you guys have to try cornbread. And you know what? I know that I'm on a cheap cruise and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet with a Mexican section cooked by a Filipino man. I know that this cornbread, compared to real cornbread, must taste like dog shit. But this shit is the best thing I've ever had in my life. I can't stop eating it. I'm eating it right now. I've been eating this shit all day. I already know that when I go to the bathroom tonight, whatever's going to come out of me is probably going to look like SpongeBob SquarePants because I can't, 
<laughs> I can't stop eating this fucking cornbread, man. I can't put it down. I took cornbread out of the buffet. You're not supposed to take food out. I took out cornbread. I don't care. Fuck you. Dude, on this cruise, man, I don't think I've ever been around more of the same cunt. People on cruises are animals, man. I don't fit in at all. I've never in my entire life been told... Like, in this... in these, What am I? I've been on, I've been on this cruise for six, seven days now. And I think I've been told more times in these seven days than I have in the past six months that I'm tall. Hey, you tall. Oh, how tall are you, man? Hey, do you play basketball? Hey, I bet you're spewing this little basketball ring on the boat. Had one cunt yell at me, Oh, if we ever need any maintenance on these on these lifeboats that are hanging above us, well, I know who to call. Oh, yeah. You reckon I know anything about lifeboats, you drunk fuckface? You know what I've decided now? I, I'm sick of it. I can't go anywhere without fucking idiots telling me that I'm tall. You're tall! Think of anything else. Anything else to say. Hi. That's a good start. Hey, you're tall, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you reckon I'm, I'm sick of it. You know what? I don't... You, th this is what I've decided now. From now on, starting today, if you tell me that I'm tall... And, and and we're not like 10 minutes into a conversation. If I've been talking to you for 10 minutes, and then you go, and then you go, oh yeah, you're really tall, aren't you? That's fine. But if some cunt thinks to themselves, oh, that's a tall guy, in their own head, that's where it should end. Alright? If you see me, I mean, yeah, I'm fucking tall. I get it. If you see me, you probably think, oh wow, look at that tall guy. That's fine. You can think that. You don't need to tell me. You don't need to fucking say it to me. I know. I've been this big for years. Most of my life, I've been tall. You don't need to fucking tell me. But on this cruise, man, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, cunts are telling me that I'm tall. Oh, you're tall? You're tall, aren't you? Hey, you're fucking tall. Shut up. You know what else? This is what I decided, okay? From now on, from this day forward, if you tell me that I'm tall, you know what else I am? I'm deaf. <laughs> I cannot hear you. You're tall. I've just started doing it to people, man. I've just started not hearing people. Anyone who tells me that I'm tall, I'm deaf. You're tall. I'm deaf. Can't hear you. Didn't hear that. I'm just full on Terminator ignoring people. I'm not. I'm not. I don't even look. Oh, you're tall. Boom. I just walk past. I started doing it today. And it's felt amazing. Just today, I've done it to four people. I've been on this cruise for seven days. I'm still getting told by cunts. You're tall. Man, it was the best thing ever. There was this guy. Me and him were walking in the same direction. He's next to me. He sped up, turned around, stopped, looked at me, and went, You're tall, aren't you? And you know what I did? I kept looking forward. I looked straight past him, and I just kept walking. <laughs> You're tall. I'm deaf. I didn't hear that. Sorry. That's that's how it's going to be for the rest of my life. If you say I'm tall, I, I let you know that I'm deaf. I'm not going to talk to you. I, I'm, not, I'm no longer responding to that shit. Because here's how it goes every time. You're tall, aren't you? Yes. And that's fucking it. That Them saying you're tall is not for me. That's not a conversation. That's just them saying their own fucking thoughts. That's like, that'd be like if I saw a hot chick with huge tits just going, you've got huge tits, don't you? No, I don't do that. I think that in my head. Okay? I'm not saying that I don't think that. I definitely do. But I don't say it to her because she knows. That's why she's wearing that top. And I'm not saying that I wear shit to make me look long. I don't need to. I'm just saying, if you tell me I'm tall, you know what else? I'm deaf. <laughs> <laughs>
Man, the cruise is nice. The people are the fucking... The fucking worst. I don't think I've ever seen this many fat cunts waddling around just being... You know what it is? Cruise... People on cruises... They don't... They don't experience life. They let life hit them. And they just... They just react. That's what it is. This whole... This whole holiday... Is just people booking a thing where they don't have to do anything. Which I understand. For sure. I get that shit. But I think that's the reason why we went on this cruise. Because we've been doing so much shit. We're like, oh, let's just go somewhere where everything's organized for us. And then that'll be it. But everyone else, is that's just how they live their whole life. Is they just walk around looking at shit. Oh, look at that. And then, and then life just hits them in the shoulder and they go, Oh, I guess I'm doing this now. Like, no one no one here has ever made a decision in the last 15 years. Other than, Should I get eggs? Or should I get a sausage? Eggs? Or is... I'm, you know what? I'm going to get both. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know what? You know what? This whole cruise is... What we're doing is we're going to all these different islands and all this kind of shit. And it's just... It's just like the giant ship of fuck your culture. <laughs> like, everyone's like, hey, you can go to an island and experience their culture. No, we don't. We don't experience their culture. We get off the giant fucking boat. And then there's a whole bunch of people waiting there... To take us on tours that we paid for on the boat. And it's just... A giant circle of money making. And... The, you don't see their fucking culture. What we see... Is them exploiting... All of the dumb cunts on a cruise. That's what we're experiencing. Them taking advantage of how much money... And how... Uh, little action people... On cruises take in their lives. They're like, hey man, I'll take you on a bus tour for 50 fucking dollars. Alright! I'll pay for that. Sorry, guys. This is very unplanned seeing as I'm on a cruise. I tried not to think about this podcast very much because I'm trying not to... I'm trying to disconnect from work because as soon as I get home, it's releasing the special and then announcing the tour. So um, I haven't really thought about this too much. What am I doing? All right. I'm going to be 12 minutes in. I'm going to try and make this go for like 20, 20 minutes, half an hour, just because... Not because I'm fucking lazy, just because I don't know how I'm going to upload this thing. And I want to get it up on Sunday, so... Um, what are we doing? What does everyone talk about? I talked about cornbread, I talked about the fucking cruise. Uh, there's a whole bunch of shit that I'm not going to talk about because I'm saving it for stand-up. Man, I've got some stories. <laughs> uh, but I need to stay, save that for stage, I can't tell you guys everything. Um, oh, that's right, that's what I wanted to tell you. I've, uh, I, I can't, I can't do it, guys. I tried my hardest. I want you to know that I tried so hard. I tried so hard to enjoy the beach. I can't, I can't do it. I hate the fucking beach. I'm with my girl. She booked the tour. So, of course, she loves the beach. So, of course, we're going to, like, four different islands. Going to this island, that island. Every island, there's snorkeling. There's beaches. There's sand. There's sun. And I just... I tried so hard to enjoy it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I just hate Australian beaches. Maybe that's it. I'm going to try my hardest. Today, my girl's like, we should, we should get snorkeling gear and go snorkeling and look at all the fishies. And all I thought was, oh yeah, we should just destroy the fucking reef. That's what we should do. Hey, fish, I'm just going to, I'm just going to wreck your home so I can see you. I mean, I know I can look. I can know. I, I know I can see better shit from like YouTube GoPro footage, but I'm here to fuck up your life because I paid forty dollars for snorkeling gear. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm gonna try snorkeling, and I'm gonna try my best to enjoy it. Went snorkeling. I got out of the water in five minutes. <laughs> I can't do it. First of all, right. You fucking anywhere with with that that's good for snorkeling is just like sharp rocks, pointy coral everywhere. 
And you're not gonna catch me wearing reef shoes like a dumb cunt, alright? I'm not, I'm not lowering myself to that standard, alright? I put on flippers, like a, could, like a fuckhead, could you, can you just picture for a second me in flippers? Like the longest man you've ever seen, who already has extraordinarily long feet, just puts on feet extenders and then tries to waddle into the beach, into the water, like some kind of penguin that's been sitting on a rack from the medieval times, but he's just been stretched out. <laughs> like, if, if, a, if a penguin fucked a noodle, <laughs> that's me and flippers. So I get in the beach, I get in the water, and uh, I'm in flippers, and uh, however hard it is to walk on land in flippers, in water, impossible. But you know when it's like, it's too shallow for you to swim? So you have to keep walking because if you lay down, you would just lay down on fucking pointy rocks and scratch your tits off. I'm at that level, trying to waddle deeper so I can get to a point where I'm swimming. And then I finally, I finally get out, I start swimming, I see all these fish. I look, oh yeah, cool, there's Nemo. Uh, there's Dory. And uh, I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> That's it. So, I'm swimming around, and then, of course, my snorkel just stops working, and I just inhale water. And then I start having a fucking panic attack. Because I'm coughing up all of this water, but I can't touch the ground because I don't want to destroy the habitat of these fish. So I just start trying to tread water flowing backwards while the tide's taking me out away from my bag, and I'm also having a coughing fit. And I'm like, alright, I finally get all the water out of my mouth and the tube, I put it back in my mouth, I go to f snorkel again, happens again, I have another coughing fit, and then I just get really angry, and I get out of the water, and my girlfriend's like, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm not a fish. <laughs> that's, that's what's fucking wrong. I'm not a fish, and no amount of plastic and shit in my mouth will change that. Sorry. I'm gonna go and sit in the dirt and complain about that. And that's what I did. And actually, I enjoyed, um, there was, there was actually one island that I did enjoy snorkeling in. I had a snorkel that didn't break. I think I, I must have broken it then. But it was, um, uh, what, what island was it? It was called, like, Lifu or something. L-I-F-O-U, I think. Uh, and it was beautiful, man. There was, like, stray dogs everywhere. It's a really small island and all the dogs were, like, happy because, I don't know, I guess they had enough food and there were cats everywhere, too. Um, and, uh, I went snorkeling and there was, like, no coral, which was great, because, I don't know, I just feel, sh I just feel fucking guilty when I'm swimming around coral, because I know that we already ruined that enough with all of this, all of the, even this, I, I learned that, um, uh, the sunscreen that we wear kills the coral. So I'm like, okay, cool, so the coral, not even the coral can handle, first of all, I'm so white that I've destroyed these islanders' culture, because now their economy relies on me buying fucking beads. You know they were you know they were selling hot chips. The fucking islanders had a deep fryer. They had their food, like coconut rice and fish, beautiful stuff that I ate, but then next to that they had the vastly more popular option of fucking hot chips. And, and that's, that's just the perfect fucking example of how we have destroyed the rest of the world. Is 2,000 people have come on a giant cruise ship, rocked up to a fucking island with 10,000 people on it. We borderline outnumber them. We make their population rise 20% for four hours. And what do we do in that four hours? Uh, do you have hot chips? <laughs> All these islanders are like, look at the beautiful food we've prepared to you. Our traditional meal of coconut rice and fish. Fish straight off this island that you're standing on by our fishermen. Look how pure and lovely this is. Yeah, but I like hot chippies 
and that's all I'm gonna eat. Do you have hot chippies and tomato sauce? I'm 50, but I eat like I'm nine. I wonder why I'm gonna have a heart attack. But yeah, we're on Leaf Owl and it's fucking beautiful, man. Dude, I had to... I tried to be I tried to be nice to the islanders, but I just felt fucking I don't know, I felt I felt, I felt like I, I I was not supposed to be here, you know? Like we would never be we would never meet. You know, like I don't know, I felt like I I'm, I'm I felt like you don't want me to be here. I could see it in their eyes. I'm like like them going, Alright, here comes the fucking white people to leave rubbish on our beach. But I can't be mean to them because they, the French invaded and I use francs now instead of trading like we used to and uh, now I have to sell the fat cunts hot chips and I can't even cook the food that I want to cook. I gotta make them fucking hot chips and tomato sauce while they leave bottles on my beach. Man, that was the most fucked up thing that I ever saw. All these people getting on, off on this tiny, beautiful island. 10,000 people only live on that island. And I saw cunts dropping plastic rubbish on it. Giant two litre bottle of water. I just saw some fucking cunt drop it. Uh, so I went and I picked it up. And I picked up all this other shit and I put it in a bin. I know, it was, it was gross, man. I just, I, it's just, I don't know, when you see that kind of, st when, because I'm just not the kind of person to do that, and you see, and, and, you know when you see all those fucking Facebook videos of all those animals eating bottle caps, thinking it's, it's some, that it's their food, and you're like, man, I would never do that, I wonder who does that, you know who does that? Cunts who go on cruises, because of course, I don't know, what hot chippies, uh, a bottle, oh, I don't want to carry it around for fucking 40 minutes, I'm just going to chuck it over there. Um, fuck man, that's, yeah. Anyway, what am I saying? There's so much to complain about that I can't even get to the stuff that I liked. Yeah, Leaf Owl, this uh, island that I'm complaining about. Well, I'm not complaining about the island, I'm complaining about the cunts on it. <laughs> the, well, the cunts that, uh, that, that got on it with me. Um, it was a beautiful island, man. There were all these stray dogs around uh, that were real friendly. I made friends with this one dog and I, I felt fucking... Felt awful leaving it there, but I know that it's probably happier than any life that I could give it in my fucking house. Um, so that was that was lovely. I met this dog. Uh, took a couple photos with it. I might put it in the podcast group uh, if I have if I have internet if I have access to it. Um, but yeah, I went snorkeling there, and there was no coral, and it was it was quite deep, and there were all these beautiful turtles just swimming around, and they were obviously used to people, so they they didn't give a fuck about you. So I just swam on top of this turtle that was like a meter below me while it just swam around just eating seaweed and grass and whatever it could find and it was amazing man it was beautiful it was this huge turtle it was like a it was like almost a meter long it was gigantic and then he saw it come up for air it was beautiful man um so that was the one thing that made me enjoy the beach was this cool dog and a turtle um but then, but then my experience was ruined by fucking cunts eating hot chippies and leaving bottles on the beach. <laughs> um, all right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up uh, around here. I'm going to I'm going to do um, a question for miscellaneous bit at the end. Sorry, this is a short one, but I'm on a cruise. I'm trying not to work too much, and uh, also I got to keep the file size small because I don't know how the fuck I'm going to upload this. Um, where are we? Uh. Which one do we want to do? Um, I'm scared for my friend's life. No, that was probably too long. I'll do that one later. Uh, uh, lesbians. Oh, I asked uh, last week, um, why do lesbians like me? Because I seem to have uh, a large group of... A large subgroup of lesbians that are just fans of me. And I couldn't figure out why. So I was asking people, why do you like my shit? Because I have this... You know, I got a subgroup of uh, of lads that like me. I get where they come from, because, you know, Cursor and I like lad shit and uh, Aussie hip-hop. I know where they came f come from, but I, I know where the internet nerds come from, because I'm also that. But I'm not a lesbian, so I don't know where these lesbians came from. 
So I had a whole bunch of lesbians email me, which is a strange sentence. So all these lesbians have been emailing me all week, telling me why they like me. Well, that's fucking weird. But I got this email. Um, lesbians. Uh, they didn't leave their name. Uh, I didn't even know why I listened to you. <laughs> uh, I found out of you. I found out about you because of the slow, so flow shit and the rap you did. Honestly, I don't know why I'm here. You're just funny, I guess. Uh, we should create a lesbian Lewis Spears fan group, so then maybe some of us can get get that good puss. Because uh, finding lesbians is hard enough without completely making f a fool of yourself to a straight girl who's just naturally affectionate. Well, that didn't answer my question at all. It just turned into, can you set me up with other lesbians? Hey, find your own pussy, man. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to set up a, a Facebook group for lesbians, alright? You know, you know what that's what's going to happen. All of the 90% 90, 90 of the people joining it will just, will just be fucking 17-year-old dudes. Alright? Hey, you know what? If you're a lesbian, join the Speared Sundays podcast group, alright? That's for everyone, okay? Post your... Post your fucking Tinder profile in there, or Grinder, or whatever whatever lesbians have. Is there a, is there an app for lesbians? Because I know Grinders for like gay dudes, or are lesbians on that too. Or do you guys just use Tinder? I don't know. Not a lesbian, wouldn't I? All right, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a big email. Um, that's fucking too big. Where are we? Sorry, like I said, not planned at all. Oh, we got an update here. Alright, I'm going to do a, uh, an update from the, uh, I have two girlfriends and I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I answered this a couple episodes ago, I'm not too sure, but this guy had a uh, quick recap. This guy accidentally got himself two girlfriends. Uh, he was, da he was <clears throat> sorry, he was dating the first one for seven months. Um, and then the second girl has been around for two months. Um... And they don't know about each other. Uh, he doesn't want to break up with the first girl because she's got bad mental health. Um, and he doesn't want her to do something stupid. But he really likes the second girl and he asked me what to do. And I said, hey, you gotta, t you gotta break up with the first girl. Uh, he sent me an update. Um, hey, school shooter. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Uh, I've got an update for you, just a quickie. So I somehow managed to get a third girlfriend. That's <laughs> the fucking opposite of what I told you to do, man. I was like, you gotta break up with one of them. He goes, I got three now. Fuck it. So I somehow managed to get a third girlfriend in the mix, and it all came crashing down from there. Turns out, <clears throat> the original two got in talks with each other, and they both found out everything, which fucked me over real good. Now, the third one still has no idea, but I don't know if I should just cut her off like the first two, or keep it going. Thanks, Gary. Oh, well then, your, your problem's solved. The first two dumped you, and you don't... Dude, you don't have three girlfriends. You've got one, fuckhead. Oh, I've got three girlfriends. Oh, yeah? Who are they? Well, uh, this one, uh, and uh, the other one, they both dumped me. And then I've got this one who's still with me. Like I said, because you got... So you got one girlfriend. No, 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 I've got three. It's just the other two dumped me. Bro, you got one girlfriend, all right? Your problem is solved. Stay with that shit. Try not to add another one. Three girlfriends. I mean, if I tallied up everyone that I've had sex with, I'd be like, oh, I've got fucking 30 girlfriends. I haven't had sex with that many people. I just couldn't remember the number off the top of my head. All right, I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to end this shit. Um, where are we? Uh, Alright guys, I'm going to end it there. Uh, sorry, this is a short one, bit all over the place, but as I said, I'm on a fucking cruise at the moment. I'm trying to enjoy my holiday, but I didn't want you guys to go without a podcast uh, because I uh, because I didn't want you guys to go without a podcast. Alright, I know you guys I know you guys like this thing, so I, I'm trying to do it for you. Sorry, this one was very over, all over the place and it was very short, but I hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, I will be back to regular posting when I get back. I think I get back on Wednesday, so I'll be able to start working again on Thursday. I'll get some shit up for you and uh, can start hustling on that comedy special and trying to figure out when I'm going to release it. So, uh, thank you very much for listening. Sorry, it was all over the place, but uh, it was here. I hope this was up by Sunday, but we'll see. If you'd like to support what I do, 
check it out on Patreon. Uh, Google Lewis Smith Patreon and you get early access to everything unless I'm on a fucking cruise ship. In, in that case, you get it when everyone else does. All right, so that's the end of the pod, guys. Thanks for listening. And uh, I have, hope you have a shit one. This is uh, Captain Lewis Spears. I wish I didn't call myself that. You know what? I'm just going to end it. See you later.